Okay, so how long did it take to set up this route? This one, particularly the final, um, one and a half day. One and a half day in the setting time and today in the morning we were resetting back this route and we're working on it until let's say three o'clock so around half a day more so in reality probably two days which part of the route was the hardest to set Ula, difficult question i think after the experience of yesterday the hardest part was resetting back this route and checking back okay how it compares to yesterday because yesterday we've had a very good result and it was a uh, a, a interesting show to watch from our side and I think from the public side as well. So we ended up in a situation we were, where we were like somewhere in the head you're trying to compare to what happened yesterday. So this may like in reality just the process today. Hard. Yeah. Which strengths are you checking with the climbers for this particular route? For men or for women? It's a good question. Let's do both. Let's do both. <laughs> uh, the men's route is... Um, or maybe, uh, yeah, the men's route is probably a little bit shorter than it's been yesterday, but the intensity of this route starts earlier. So, in fact, the, the part of the endurance section should be very similar. What happens with this route is it's a little bit more risky in moves. It's a little bit more committing, where the positions from which you start the movement, they don't allow you to come back. You have to decide for it fast and it's not necessarily a jump um, so and and in total it's just it's just an a, a, a endurance route eh? but a little bit shorter one probably around 30 moves in total the of the important part for women it's a little bit the same although yesterday the route was a little bit longer today the route uh, starts more physically demanding it's a little bit less complex in that part than it was yesterday but the profile of the wall is more steep and the climbing is more physical, more committing in the moves, large moves, a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit power, powerful in the all of the body. And the difference is that when yesterday, after some introduction part, which was complex, you had moments where you could release a little bit and look what's happening next. Over here, we have the feeling at least that once you start climbing, basically all the way until the last, like three moves before the top, you, you should not stop so much. So this intensity is higher and we check over like, I don't know if we, you can say that we check, but this loop is quite complex. It has a physical part, it has a shorter but very fingery part, it has a part which is difficult to read, technical in a way, have to be able to improvise fast, find different solutions, there is not only one solution to it. So it's complex because especially for women climbing, if we would go really one direction, that would not be good, I think. And was it hard to set a route that's very challenging for Yanya? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a challenge, huh? because as we've seen yesterday, wow, there is 14 moves difference between Seo and Yanya and Aimori. 14 moves. And these 14 moves were not easy. So we still have an open book. We have, still have like, we still don't know where is the limit because Yanya topped it as well. So we can, we know there is a chance that you can still push it forward. It's uh, yeah, it's a challenge, huh? It's not easy, and it's not easy to do it in a way that suddenly there is not a really very defined, super hard one or two moves that will suddenly stop. That you get, you you give the possibility to fight, especially with walls. I feel that with with walls that are usually on the World Cup circuit, where at the end the wall kicks back a little bit and the profile is a little bit less steep so the moves begin to be a lot harder to feel the exact balance on where you're pushing it a little bit too much when it begins to be coordination not just power because what i see from yesterday what i saw from innsbruck is that what is really super interesting to watch is giving the best athletes the a route that does not stop them because of a coordination or because of a tricky, because of a balanced part. It allows them to, when it even happens, it allows them still to fight and recover from this. And and watching Yanya in these situations where she really has to fight is kind of a new thing to us. I have the feeling we've seen her, of course, but this is 
like yesterday's experience, experience from Innsbruck was really interesting and important from the roots at that point. Last question, are you cheering for anyone in particular today? No, not so much. I'm cheering for all of these athletes to give the best performance. Eh? I had an interview yesterday with one of the ladies from some from one of the newspapers down in Slovenia and and uh, she was mentioning exactly this, that like how was the route in Innsbruck, Janja was saying that it was super hard and if she says it's super hard it has to be really like another level and, and what I was saying to her is that for me at least right now the goal of these competitions is that for us as route setters our job is to prepare the place where athletes can fight to the to, to, to the maximum where, where they can really show their absolute limit and it doesn't refer only to the best athlete it refers also down to these ones who are number two three four five six seven eight in the finals and in the semis as well so if i see them having a good fight and sometimes it's like people who are down 20th place but i see them giving a great fight i'm super happy for them